In a rare move, the U.S. has deployed tactical spy aircraft over the Korean peninsula at least seven times in the past week. This came amid reports that North Korea is getting ready to launch intercontinental ballistic missiles, considered a red line for the United States. Kim ji has more. U.S. reconnaissance planes have flown over the Korean peninsula at least seven times in the past week, raising speculation that the U.S. is putting pressure on North Korea as a year's end deadline for denuclearization talks draws near. According to aircraft spots on Tuesday, the U.S. deployed one of its two RC 135U combat sent aircraft, aimed at collecting data on enemy radar from missile bases. It also deployed the E-8C Joint Stars on Tuesday, the same jet it deployed over the peninsula when the North launched two projectiles from a super-large multiple rocket launcher last Thursday, the 13th round of major weapons tests the regime has conducted so far this year. The Joint Stars has the ability to detect, track and hand off targeting information on moving enemy forces on ground, which is considered one of the U.S. military's most important technological capabilities. Two days after the projectile launched last Saturday, the U.S. deployed the U-2S, the so-called Dragon Lady, which can identify objects as small as 10 centimeters from a distance of 100 kilometers. In the process, the U.S. military exposed the verification code of the Dragon Lady, which some local media outlets in South Korea saw as a deliberate move to pressure the North. This comes after multiple reports that the regime has installed scores of concrete bedrocks across the country to support its transporter erector launchers, prompting speculation North Korea is getting ready to fire intercontinental ballistic missiles if there's no progress on denuclearization talks by the year's end. Kim Jian, 99 News.